Yeah. But we're not going to start off with the hardware right away. We're going to start off with something a little on the cuter side. Soup. Duke. Yeah. Soup time, Tifa. It's soup time, Miss. Yeah, get some snack. Get some snack. Uh, uh. So, uh, yeah, this is another hardware mode. We're going to start after the little lady right here finishes her food. Little old lady. She's uh, quite old. So, oh God, so bright. Uh, today, I'm going to be setting up for the Pump It Up Pad project that I've been working on for the last couple of months. It's half done already, but I'm kind of just waiting for the other half of the pad, the pad to come back from the Sandblast Powder Coat place. And I'm trying to do the things that I can do while I'm waiting. Well, simultaneously. So, this is, this is the temperature in the room right now, down here, so this is 70 point one. This is also right by the computer and right by the monitor and all the other stuff, so it's a little warm right there. I move my hand this way, that was about a foot. I go another foot. There's actually a portable air conditioner within arm's reach of me keeping this room cool because the central air conditioning doesn't make it up here. And when it does, it's really bad. Give her a light brushing. She's, uh... This lady is getting uh, right around six and a half years old. Ferrets tend to only live for about six years now. So she's doing quite well for her age. You can see her tail right here. That was bald a few months ago. It's, it's, a, it's still a little thin towards the tip, but... Like, her tail had balled it out, and she started to bald up the backside. That's a, uh... That's a type of cancer that does that. You okay, Miss? You, you want more? There's still some more. No more? Are you done? All done? Hmm? Hmm? Are you done? Or are you just confuzzled as to why you're on the desk? You don't know why you're up here, do you? You crazy old lady. No? Okay, it's time to put you back down. I gotta get out of this project. Oh, wait, Lilith's up. I might let her finish it. If she comes over here, I'll let her finish it off. So, the, the ferret that I just had up there, that's Tifa. She's a sable, which is the standard variety of ferret. The lady that's on her way over here is a good bit younger, but still about five years old. Come here, Lilith. This is Lilith. She is a silver, and she has cancer as well. See that little lump on her tail coming out of her tail of her knee. These animals are cancer factors, unfortunately. They so the reason for that is actually because Marshall Farms doesn't breed them as pets primarily. If they breed them as test animals, because, uh, fun little fact, ferrets can get the flu from humans. Um, close relatives are like mink, uh, they're kind of related to otters, stoats, general weasels. But, uh, these, these friends right here can catch a flu on top of ferret-only diseases. Uh, mink can get COVID-19. I had COVID-19, none of these guys, none of my three got sick, or actually I had four at that time. None of my four got sick, aside from however sick they were. She's working a little bit too hard for that. So, yeah. They're great pets, but man, they are uh, expensive when things get, when they get sick. Wolf here is actually allergic to vaccines. 
I was being a responsible order owner. I was getting her vaccinated against uh, rabies and canine distemper. And she reacted to the December vaccine. And I had to take her to an emergency event. So that well, it was supposed to be like a $50 event trip. Ended up becoming a like $750 event trip. No more? You're all done? Okay, here. Let's do this. That way when Big Doofus wakes up, he can try to maybe clean it up. He wants to say hi. Say hi, Lilith. Say bye, Lilith. Here you go. Here you go, miss. Oh yeah. I love those little buggers. Did you pick the wrong box, Tifa? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'm going to be working on, oh God, it's so bright. This is a continuation of a project I've, I've been working on for Pump It Up Pads. LEDs. Lots of LEDs. Full volt LEDs, actually. Tools I'm going to need. Table time mounts. Or a decent chunk of power over here. I'll be using about three of them per block. Side cutters for snipping wire. Zip ties, because I don't need these to be 100% permanent. Uh, this is my automatic strimper crimper. I'm probably not going to be using that too much because I don't really want to strip yet. Because I need to place things in the pad when I get it back. And then what I need after that are these five pieces of wood. And if you look closely, you can see you can see some holes in it already and other things. Um, in the original version, or the original layout of Pump It Up machine, I shouldn't say original, I should say second revision, or second and a half revisions, the later DX models and the later SX1 models had compact fluorescents inside them. The compact fluorescents were mounted with rubber pieces here and here on this one, and then there was a tra an inverter that screwed down over here that, went, that ran right next to it. It took 12 volt power from the cabinet and reinverted it back to AC power for the compact fluorescents. But since it's 12 volt power anyway, I could just attach 12 volt LC LEDs. So my uh, process before, and I did this actually in the pad, so this is why I kind of want to do it before, before I put them down. I pretty much just did this. I used, I pinned things down with these. So there was one here, one here, and one here, and everything was zip tied down. So let me give you a brief example of what that looks like. This side, this side of it is pointless. These are actually LEDs for like little shop sign windows, is what they're marketed as, but they work really well. Just these two are going to be provide like five times, five to ten times as much brightness as the ah shit. Is that piss or? Yep, I just stepped in fair. Be right back. Thanks, ladies, for tricking me into stepping in pee. There's your entertainment for the stream. Uh, how you doing? How you duking? How are you duking? Yeah, that's that's mine. You don't want that. That's my slippers. Okay, now I'm back. I got slippers. And I'll put the socks off. Cause... So yeah, just to uh... I have to remember to put this where the camera is. Just sneaking this underneath. It tries to go under, all the way under. It's a you can't really see too well. There's my giant thumb. But it 
it's easier to get a pick down in there. And force the tip of the zip tie up. And fold these over. Nice and set. This one's long because it, extra long because it's kind of the original one. You can you can see the wires are a little bit exposed already. Um, I'm actually going to strip those back a little bit just for ease when I eventually wire nut them. This has been an incredibly handy tool in my arcade work. Those are ready. Up there. So I can't do the rest of the repair work for this on stream. Uh, it involves using high powered sanding equipment to knock rust off of metal or drills to drill out holes and then retapping holes. And it's just, it's a lot of work. I do enjoy that work, but it is a lot. The results are spectacular. Though. Like the pad that got to the guy who actually owns the machine came out so nice. Actually, I should I should buzz him and let him know because he's also uh, Red pra He's his Twitch name is Red Practice Angel. He's full time gaming. All zero people watching this will not recognize his name. I know him personally from uh, years of working with him and whatever associated convention or company he's with at various conventions and gaming events. Uh, specifically, the big one lately has been Games Done Quick. Let me buzz it real quick. Okay, he's been buzzed. It's Thursday, so I don't think he has any gaming stuff going on. Um, his company is called World Nine Gaming. Give him a look. They're high quality people. Uh, the guy that's local to me is actually in Chicago. His business partner is up in Minneapolis. Spoiler, that's why Summer Games Done Quick is in Minneapolis. But these two lights alone provide more light than all ten of the CCFLs that would have been in all ten panels of the Pump It Up. And yes, these are, uh, these are designed to fit within the 11 by 11 uh, because the corner panels and pump it up are if this is up and up down this way 
11 wide, but 13 long. It's just to facilitate the ease of doing it. All right, that is one down. Time to start on the next one. Simple, it's a simple path, uh, but now I need to pull from the fresh set. I got the uh, YouTube collab, the power, uh, the power of Terry. Music from that stuck in my head. It's a good collab. If, if you're into YouTube, uh, YouTube collabs, that's a really good one. It's fairly recent. So, okay, uh, we're gonna snip you right about down the middle. Snip, snip. Decide for now. Make sure I don't lose. I'll find the twist tie later. Yeah, similar, similar route as next as last time. These are just model price branded ties. They cost me like five dollars for a bag of a hundred. Yeah, my the lighting situation in my room is unfortunate. Um. portable air conditioner dictates where I can put things and there aren't a whole lot of outlets or circuits up here there are outlets but there aren't a lot of circuits so like the PC and monitor that I'm working the stream from are on the, actually on the same circuit as that air conditioner and then I've got an outlet off in that direction And a couple of a couple of outlets to what would be the right of the screen for anybody watching, and the room extends this way because the computer uh, behind the the camera is a wall. I really should try to like invest in some sort of like straight down mount for this because uh, right now this webcam is kind of hanging over the monitor and it's just hockey tape to the back of the monitor <laughs> hey i play hockey i gotta i gotta solve stuff with the, all the tape i've got it's good it's good tape for grip too it's not like electric well i mean it's it's got its ups and downs compared to other types of tape um it's waxable which is a really good thing in ice hockey is especially the, uh, when you're skating as a player you want to use the tape to protect the blade of your stick and then you wax the stick to reduce the friction a little bit and protect the tape a little bit i mean it's still gonna get caught everything's still gonna get caught up but you know, it's, it's just redoable layers and you can express yourself a little bit with hockey tape as well like different colors or different tape jobs say a, say a lot about different players. Um, I don't remember the last time I taped one of my hockey sticks. But actually, this is goalie double white tape. I have a yellow stick and a white stick, and I tend to actually use yellow, black and yellow tape on the black stick, and then white and a little bit of player blue on the white stick. And the reason for the player uh, the player blue on that is I tend to use that white stick when I'm wearing my white pads and gloves. And if I'm wearing my white pads and gloves, there's a really high chance I'm either wearing a green jersey or a blue jersey. Uh, my white jerseys are just kind of not. They don't fit. They were designed for, for Asian people, and I'm not an Asian. Well, Asian-sized, generally, people. It is a little stereotypical to say it, but, you know, but Japanese Korean people do tend to be a little bit shorter than people of face in the United States. Uh, I have met plenty that are bigger. Um, ben Pai from the music gaming, uh, rhythm gaming community, specifically Stepmania, he's actually fairly tall and a solid dude. 
if you ever get a chance to meet him, I do recommend it. He's a good guy. Smart dude. And he's got a cute dog. Which always helps. A 3D printer is also currently printing some parts for dance games. After I get these pinned down, I will go grab the part that's being printed, or a completed version of the part that's being printed right now, and show you. Since I am working on dance game related stuff right now. Set it up there. Now, the reason I'm not going with 100% locked down anything is I want there to be a little bit of give on this because there will be some vibration, especially as we as the dance game is getting played. And I know the pad that these are going that this stuff is going into is actually probably going to be kind of stored outside for a little while, and having everything rigid inside there just isn't great. And it's, it's not awful, but it's not the best. Okay, we're going to pin you down right now. This, is, this isn't an exact science. I'm just kind of placing things where it feels right. And about here. Zip ties down. Okay. Simple solution. It's a simple solution. It drops the amount of energy consumed and makes everything a lot easier. Cuts a little weight too. Like this. This weighs nothing. I could chuck it into a wall and probably break it. Yeah, all right. Only a few more to do. I would be shirtless, but nobody wants to see that. Hell, I don't even want to see it. I got to look at myself on OBS. I don't want to see that shit. I'm just going to cut out the rest of these. One, two, three. Okay. That is all the more I'm going to need. Most of those can get used for arcade game marquees, actually. That's just an unfortunate side effect, anyway. Because they're too long to go that way. But I can't stretch much more than that without causing issues. So. Kind of sucks, but that's the way it's got to go. No big deal. I'll make it work. I have tested these lights already. I, I have a 12 volt to, or a 120 to United States 120 volts AC to 12 volt DC adapter outside in the garage. I would just be plugging that in right over here if I if I needed to check each of these, but I don't because I've already checked each of them.
I try to keep my face off camera too. Nobody really wants to see it. My girlfriend barely wants to see it. My face is horrible. I mean, the mask mandate just got lifted in Illinois, and I'm half considering keeping or continuing to wear the mask just because people don't want to see my face. Hey, Lilith. How you doing? How you doing, Missy? Getting that itch? You getting that itch? The gray one's like hooking that extreme edge of the. Yep, 3D printer just finished. What, 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 what? I was watching a Tetris restream earlier, and the, uh, the player's name is Mo. They're down in Colombia. The country of Colombia, not some town near the Colombia, like in another state, because I'm in the United States. And the screen setting on the flyback of their TV was was like almost cranked. Probably either the flyback was going bad or something was going on with it. When it got moved at one point, or I, I can't tell you what, but God, was that painful to blow watch because there's the fact that uh screen is effectively gamma so since it was cranked it was generating what to the untrained eye look like scan lines but they're not scan lines they're actually they're actively i don't know what to call them but they're aggravating to anybody that's actually ever worked on a crt before Hey, not there, not there. Wait. Shoot. Like I said, this isn't an exact science. What, 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 what? Get this pin down and now I know from having done five of these already, I'm generally going to be working off of this side. When you're facing it, it's a, it's the right. So. That may have been a mistake. Maybe I'll do it for me. Yeah, I'm going to have to strip these out on all of them, but that's fine. That one's flying. I'm sure I'll find that at the worst possible time later on. What are you doing? Oh, yeah, that would be it. The wire's trying to turn out.
There we go. Let's see, this is slightly different. Actually, no, just leave that alone. Text message. Okay, there's there's a little flex to them. That's fine. It doesn't hurt anything. So what'll happen with this is when this gets wire nutted to the when these get wire nutted to the bit on the pad, I'm gonna end up zip tying the wires together so that, that won't slide out after that. And I'll just do this and it won't go anywhere. Forgot about that one leading into this. Animal Crossing related stuff there. So, all right, next one. It is warming up in here. What is he working on? That is a... I don't know. I have uh, the YouTube channel Odd Tinkering on the background. He does some of the stuff similar to me, but he does it more like an ASMR style. Oh, that's Super Nintendo. Okay. Is it bad that I could tell what it was just kind of by the... Uh, Bottom heat shield. Ah, yeah. All that trash. Doesn't matter which color side I put on what side, uh, they're labeled. So when I go to twist tie everything or wire nut everything together, I put yellow. In this instance, I put yellow to gray and then white to white because yellow and gray are positive and white are oh, both whites are negative. Because it is a DC circuit. Oh, he's on a Dreamcast. Okay. Looked like Super Nintendo. Okay. Strip these out. Of course, that's bent in just the way that won't work. Do I hear Nick? Do I hear my big deaf doofus? No, I think I was hearing toothbrush on the TV. Oh, no, I do hear Mr. Nick. He's a big doofus. What you doing over there, mister? What you doing over there? I'm talking to a deaf ferret. Yeah. Hey, come here. Come in. Say hello. This guy's actually a guy. He's male. And albino. And a fatty.
Okay, let's just see. Go back down. Go back down. Go back down. Ah. Rub the belly. That was a good use of time. Yeah. I'm not actually joking about that. That actually is a good use of time. Play with my play with my weasel. Good use of time. Yeah, that's a little bit. Whatever. I always get the warped run. Yes, it do just make a blazing sale as well. Okay, that's another one down. What's up, Nick? How you doing down there? Uh, what's up, buddy? Okay, uh, one last one. This is the last one of this project. And I'm going to have to clean up before starting the next project. All right, cool. Water. Academy Impossible. Bot names are getting interesting. Automatic strip crimp. Actually, just automatic strip, but the crimp part's down here. It also cuts. It's easier to do the cutting with these side cutters. There we go. That can be a little bit of pain in the butt sometimes. Continue you down. There we go. Just make sure you're not going anywhere. That's the only part about this I care about. Is that not going anywhere? Okay. Let's start by pinning this side down. Ooh, a Saturn. Yeah, I kind of fell down a uh, tech repair rabbit hole on YouTube one day. Odd tinkering really isn't 
one of the ones that was rabbit hole. Well, I guess it would kind of qualify as rabbit hole. But, um, mostly I found uh, Steve from uh, Rocks Fix. He's blinking on his channel for a little bit. And I was initially like, okay, this guy seems to know what he's doing. And then from there, uh, Lewis Rossman popped up. I kind of known who he was through like Linus Tech Tips and Marquis Brown, Marquis Brownlee, and you know all the uh, Jace Two Cents and Gamers Nexus. Um, obviously, Gamers Nexus and all of them are is a little bit more PC focused. But uh, there we go. These are ready for whenever I get that pad back from the. Uh, same blast powder book, please. So, okay. But, uh, Tronics Fix is actually the guy, the guy who, whose channel really, like, inspired me to do stuff like, work on that thing. And try not to get scammed. What did I put down? Did I drop it? Probably did. This is ready to go back outside. Oh, there it is. It was right on the E, so I couldn't see it. And it can go outside with the rest of the lights on. All right. Uh, what do I want to do next? I want to. Oh, put those back. Let's, let's do a little cleanup first. I have more dance game pad stuff to work on with this. Um, all the wiring is actually stripped out of those pads. So when I get them back, I need, actually need to re-secure them. And then I have another dance, another couple dance game pads where I have to do that. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Um... Let me change up tools real quick. Oh, I did want to show this off. That. That's what I've been printing. That right there is. Ah, on this is a corner bracket for dance game pad, but it's made out of translucent yellow greenish tpu it's also set up as you can kind of see it a little bit it doesn't focus the best it's not a great webcam but these are for counter sunk screws so the screws will actually go all the way down into that I have to start another one for two here. Bear with me. I'm going to get All right. Uh, I'm going to do a quick start stop, change up the names of the hardware mode, and I'll be back in a couple minutes.